on week four. Funny how time flies when you're elevating. This week, we focused on forgiveness and releasing. And remember I told you at the beginning that the first week and the last week might be the toughest weeks. But don't worry, sis. We got this. And you have done an amazing job up until now. So you should be proud of yourself. Now, the activity for this week is going to require for you to spend some time with that woman in the mirror. I want you to find a mirror and I want you to look at yourself. You've explored and discovered so much about you. And I want you to connect with yourself on this side of that work. When you look at yourself, look at yourself from the lens of love. I want you to affirm to yourself that you are loved and appreciated. Because sis, you are loved and appreciated. I want you to begin to tell yourself the things that you are ready to forgive and release from your life. For me, I had to forgive myself for being angry. I had to forgive myself for making poor choices. I had to forgive myself for not showing up and being the, the best friend and person and wife and partner and mother that I could be. Think about the things that you're ready to release. Think about the things that you're ready to forgive. Even if those things aren't towards you, maybe they're towards somebody else. Maybe someone else brought in pain and they are the cause of your trauma. That's okay. You can still offer forgiveness for yourself for holding on to the grudge, for holding on to the pain, and you can allow yourself to really offer this same experience, even if it's not towards you. Now, once you've said all of those things, I want you to thank yourself. Now, remember, you're still looking at you in the mirror. I want you to thank yourself, literally say thank you. For me, I would say thank you, Mo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for holding this space for us. Thank you for making this time to do this work. Thank you for being obedient to Holy Spirit to be led on what to focus on. Thank you for continuing to love me. Just continue to affirm yourself and express love. Now you can express love by saying I love you or you can literally wrap your arms around yourself and say I love you. If you know anything about me, you know I love a good self-hug. There is nothing like it. Now, when it comes to releasing, I have a little activity I want you to do. I want you to sit quietly and I want you to imagine that you are actually sitting on the bank of a river or a lake, a body of water. And this body of water is so calm and it's quiet peaceful. It embodies that peace that you brought in for yourself last week. In that vision, you have a notepad and you start writing and you're writing all of the things 
that you are releasing from your life, whether it's pain, anxiety, resentment, hurt, anger, you name it. And once you're done writing all of those down, I want you to fold it into a sailboat. Now, don't overthink this, sis. Don't say, well, I don't know how to do a sailboat. In your vision, you know how to create a beautiful sailboat. <laughs> Make your sailboat, and I want you to put it on the edge of the river. And I want you to say, thank you. As you give it a tug into the water, you are saying thank you for the lessons that you taught me. They have made me a better person. But now I release you because I no longer have need for you. I send you away with love and with peace. And just watch it as it is pulled away and it drifts out of your sight. That is your activity for releasing. Now, when you're done with both of these activities, you know what I'm going to tell you to do, sis. I want you to journal your thoughts. The reason I always want you to journal is because it's always important to be able to get your thoughts out of your head onto something. And what a beautiful opportunity to look back a year from now, two years from now, and see the work that you have done, acknowledging the effort and the way that you showed up for yourself. Hey, listen, I have enjoyed spending this time with you. And don't worry, this is not the end. We've got more work to do. And as always, sis, thanks so much for tuning in. And if you like this video, do me a favor and hit the like and subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss out on any of my latest content as it's being released, go ahead and hit the notification bell icon as well. Thanks for joining and I'll see you next time.